Hello, everybody. My guest today is Thomas Beatty. He describes himself as a recovering investment banker at his current company, Volvio, or Volio, which we'll dive into today. He runs this startup that is helping people invest together with those they know and trust. He's devoted time across several sectors, but his common thread is that they're all financial service related or, or in the capital markets. He has extensive experience in the formation, structuring, and financing of public and private companies. Transactions across international capital markets have provided him with considerable insight into valuation, positioning, and strategy. He now leverages this to contribute to the development and growth of new and successful businesses. Thomas, are you ready to take us to the top? I am. All Thanks. right. What is the, what's the actual business model at Volio? Is it, are you an investment banker? A Volio is a trading platform. So I used to be a banker, but I left that with a mission to try and help the next generation get involved in preparing for their financial future. Okay. So, so your cool factor went up a little once you left investment banking. <laughs> uh. Uh, maybe. Okay. So the URL, is it myvolio.com? It is. Yes. Okay. So tell us about the platform. How, how can people use it? So the platform is designed to help break down barriers and help people invest a bit better. It lowers their costs by enabling them to split fees uh, and it enables them to diversify, which reduces their risk. And uh, hopefully they leverage their collective intelligence to make better decisions. Okay. Wealthfront, Robinhood, why am I going to use you over these guys? Uh, it's really about breaking down those barriers. If you don't think you have enough money, enough knowledge, enough time, or you're just scared of investing, those other platforms aren't going to help you with that. Uh, they break down maybe one of those barriers, but not all of them. We think that we address them all and make it easier for this next generation to get started, to have a little bit more fun as they're building their portfolios and to learn. And I think those aspects are really important. What kind of strategy, though, does your tool help enable? Is it an active one or a passive one? I mean, the reason I use Wealthfront or these other guys is because I just have, I just do you know dollar cost averaging, right? And boom, it, they take care of it with low fees. Uh, that's a great uh, strategy. I, I like that. I endorse that. Our uh, platform is built for active or passive strategies. We don't have a robo advisor. We're having a robo buster created, which will enable you to pick your passive portfolio and, and reduce those ongoing fees. Uh, but really, the, the strategy is uh, up to the members. Thomas, isn't that a contradiction, picking your passive portfolio? If you're picking something by nature, you have to be active, right? Uh, well, when you think about it, all these robo-advisors are doing is putting seven ETFs into a bucket and selling it to you and charging you a fee every year for rebalancing it. Um, this is not rocket science. Any member uh, of the public can do this if they have an understanding of why there are those seven elements in that given portfolio. Uh, we're going to let you decide which from each of those buckets uh, you think is the most appropriate for you, and that'll reduce your costs over the course of your lifetime. And, and I'll just point out how serious that is. I mean, they say with a traditional advisor charging you one, one and a half percent per year in total fees, uh, both what they're charging and the embedded ones in the products, that you're going to lose about a third of your wealth over your lifetime. Uh, when you look at a robo-advisor, it's substantially less but it's still nearly a fifth. And that's a big number. And uh, that's why we think people should be picking their own. Okay. So Volio, how do you make money? What's your revenue model? Uh, Volio itself is a discount brokerage. We enable groups to split commissions. So we have a commission structure. Teams uh, of three or more split a $12 charge. Individuals pay $4 each. Okay. So let's say that a lot of my listeners are SaaS, private equity, M&A folks. They're running in their own funds, et cetera. They're analysts. If they want to try this, they're going to sign up. And every time they want to do a trade, they'll pay $4. Is that how it works? As an individual, it's $4. As a team, it's $12. The average number of members in each team on our platform today is nine. So it's costing about $1.30 per person. I don't understand trade. that use case. What do you mean a team? Like if I get together with friends and want to do this, it's cheaper? That's right. You're pooling your money and you're actually creating what used to be called an investment club. Now, that's not cool anymore, but that's what this is. This is a mobile and social thing that lets you invest with your friends, family, colleagues, Gosh, neighbors. Gosh, I'm trying to think what my board game nights with friends would sound like if the stocks were down that day. Maybe everybody cancels. <laughs> I mean, but seriously, how do you manage the socioeconomic kind of feeling of that? Uh, actually, it's, it's one where you all have a collective interest uh, in what you're what you're investing in. So everybody cares. Everybody's got a voice. Everybody's got a stake. And that's really what it's about. It's about that collective intelligence working for you. I imagine this though, Ken, Ken break down and say, Nathan, you told us to add Chipotle a year ago and now there's this freaking bacteria breakout and they're killing our whole portfolio. <laughs> We're not taking any of your picks anymore. 
it, that may happen. What, what makes Volio truly unique is that we track every proposal and vote made by each member. So if you propose to buy Chipotle and the team votes you down, it's going to track Chipotle for you until that point in the future where you lock it off for the purposes of your score. Conversely, if you, your club agreed to buy it, you're going to be long and it's going to reflect on each individual person's oh, score. Oh, good. This, so you give me the joy. ability to go back in a year and say, look, you should have listened to me. My stocks are performing well. And this feeds a community of top performing clubs and individuals who can be followed in a redacted way in real time. Okay, what now I, mean I love you. That, now, I'm, now I'm enjoying this. <laughs> what I mean by redacted is I don't tell them how much wealth you have. They'll be able to see the weight of a position in your club's portfolio, but never how much money you're managing. Got it. Really interesting. Um, okay, so you're making these fees and that's happening every time they are buying or selling stocks. Is there any other way you make money like, uh, like that's more predictable? None at all. It's uh, it's a free platform to use. It's free to create your club. We remove the partnership agreement element. We have a template for that. You don't have to pay a lawyer or an accountant to set you up. At the end of the year, we give you your information for your tax forms, so you don't have to bother with any of that hassle. You don't need a club bank account. All the things that used to make investing together a pain are gone, thanks to technology. Okay, so so tell me more about your team. So when did you launch the company? What's the team size today? Team's been around for several years. We've been building... Uh, this platform first in a simulated context and then registering it as a FINRA member in the United States. So we're now in soft launch. We've been around for about 12 months. We finished registering across U.S. states uh, in a March of last year. And uh, now the team consists of about eight members. We've got some based in the U.S., uh, some uh, up here in Vancouver. I'm based in Canada. And uh, and that's the, the team today. And how many folks, how many users have signed up both on a free basis and also a paid basis? So we've had thousands of people participating on the Simutrader app that we have in stores. This gives you a free million dollars to invest on your own or as a team uh, to get used to the look and feel of the application and to start practice investing. This has been quite a useful tool and we've uh, run competitions both with NASDAQ and with the TMX group um, to enforce, uh, uh, I guess, a higher standard of financial literacy among university students in the U.S. And they're, they're still paying four bucks even to trade the fake money, right? Uh, fake money, they still pay the same charges that they would if they were running. Oh, this is kind of cool. So this is interesting. So you can actually make way more money than a wealth front or, the, or these guys because you're essentially you're more like a game. Uh, but, but it can become real life if they want. They can actually do real trades through you. Uh, they can do real trades. Uh, just to be clear, the simulated trades that they're doing are done with simulated money. They're not paying me anything for that. But uh, they have the oh. same experience that they would have if they were doing this for real. So I'm not, I, I'm not paying you four real dollars to spend your million free. dollars virtual. No, not to fake trade. I, okay. would, I would never do that to anybody. I no. would do that. I'm a capitalist. <laughs> um, yeah, but on our real platform, we've now got over a thousand people that have created profiles. Uh, some of them are active in teams. We've got dozens of active clubs, hundreds of active users. And uh, we're emerging from soft launch next month. You'll start great. to see us advertising and getting our story out there. So what is, okay, I appreciate obviously the user growth, but but people that have actually pulled out a credit card, done a deal with you, you're, you're talking a hundred, a thousand, how many people are groups total? Hundreds of people are doing okay, hundreds. this real money today. Okay, and what do you typically see are their spending patterns? Is it happening pretty consistently? They're doing three trades a month or what are you seeing? Yeah, we kind of expected it would be two to three trades per club per month. The amounts that they're investing are not significant. So it's about two trades per club per month at the moment, which is fantastic. We don't want to see them doing anything that's detrimental to their own interests. What I think is awesome about our users' behavior to date is that almost half of them have set up monthly recurring contributions. And this is growing their portfolios faster. It's creating good financial habits uh, among those members. And that peer pressure, when you know that each of your friends is putting in $50 each month, you're less likely to skip it and go out for that extra meal uh, because you want to be a part of that team. And uh, I think that's great for people's financial habits. No, I love it. I think that's great. So I'm trying, I'm like I told you, I'm a capitalist. I love numbers. I'm trying to figure out how much money you're making. So a couple hundred people. <laughs> it, 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 I'll you, tell you because yeah. uh, we're, we're going to be a public company. Our revenue last year was a mere $2,500. I love that. Um, we're we're at the point where we're starting to look at customer acquisition and scaling the business. And uh, I think that's going to obviously make us uh, a more significant player in the space. Have you bootstrapped the company or have you raised? We've raised. We've raised several million dollars to build a technology platform. And I'm delighted to say that at this point, we are more of a platform company than a single social trading app. Uh, we are looking now at white labeling our platform to credit unions and community banks across the U.S., enabling those financial institutions to offer a new service to their members. 
incremental revenue stream uh, generation and, of course, open up a new channel for customer acquisition. And, and how much have you raised? Uh, Five million dollars as okay. of this year. And was that a price round or equity or, or a convertible note? Uh, all equity, uh, all from high net worth individuals, no VC investors. So in how did you, how did you, whoever led that round, or maybe it was two rounds, but whoever your leads were, how did you convince them on evaluation with, you know, pre-product, pre-revenue? Is it just, I mean, you have a great background. Was that it? Uh, yeah, that uh, certainly helped. I think having a, a team that had uh, been involved in the financial industry was very helpful. Uh, we've got a, a number of uh, very highly skilled uh, technical team members that have built financial software for many years. So that gives uh, our investors a lot of confidence. Uh, and uh, I think just the fact that it was an innovative and truly unique idea, uh, taking what was a, a social trading app and adding that level of gamification uh, that will make it engaging for for all investors, um, not yeah. only this next generation. My audience is competitive as hell. I imagine if we figured out a way, and by, by a way, I mean you paying me somehow as a sponsor, but if we figured out a way where <laughs> I set up a game and challenged all my audience members to go in with me and, and see if they could beat me over the next two, three, five years, that would be a lot of fun. All right, let's do it. We, I would, we I run would, these student competitions, and they are highly competitive. Our I, top team over 10 weeks returned uh, over 200% annualized. That's amazing. It was about 37% over the course of that 10 weeks. Uh, they did an amazing job. Well, we'll um, follow up after the interview and see if we can actually make that happen. But I, I love the concept. I think this is great. It reminds me back when I was young when I played this thing called Neopets. Do you, I don't know if you have kids and you've heard of this, but it's a virtual world with these little creatures and that they have a stock market. And I'd spend all my time logged into Neopets on the stock market, just trading like they had weird names like berries or fruits or things. But I would refresh it and see my value go up and up over time. And I loved it. It was very addictive. It's even more addictive when it's real money. I can, I can imagine. You. I can now, absolutely imagine. It's like coin right now. This is like Coinbase, by the way. Right now, my friends and I, when we get together, we all open our Coinbase phones and compare account sizes and when we bought crypto. And it, I, so I totally get the social dynamic of why this works. You did the right gear change at the right moment. I want to talk to you about Cryptolio. This is a new crypto version of our platform that we're going to be launching first north of the border, but then in the United States sometime later this year. And it's the same concept, but built for crypto, major cryptocurrencies, people transferring funds from their bank account, investing and divesting in those crypto um, uh, assets, and then divesting and withdrawing them back to their banks. The point for us is that it breaks down all of the things that are traditionally painful for those that are investing in crypto today. No private keys, no wallets that you're managing or, or worrying about, uh, just simply behaving like it is a brokerage account for crypto. Mm -hmm. That's interesting. We should chat about that as well. That would be fun. All right, Absolutely. Thomas, let's wrap up here with the famous five. Number one, what's your favorite business book? Ooh, Business Adventures. That's a good one. That's that beautiful blue cover. Bill Gates recommends it. It's a guy with an ice pick climbing a mountain, right? That is the, the one. I also have uh, one that people should read that's uh, Never Split the Difference. That's yep. uh, an exceptional book on negotiation. Number two, who's the CEO you're following or studying right now? I don't follow just one. It, there's a big universe of highly successful companies out there. Name, name one, like the last one you, you found yourself going down a rabbit hole on. <laughs> uh, I, I'd have to say my all-time favorite is Warren Buffett. I, I love the way that man invests. Yep. Uh, now, he's not a big crypto fan. You're going into crypto. Would he, would he challenge you there? Um, uh, I think that uh, crypto was not made for his generation. Uh, I think that uh, those of us that are a bit younger understand that these assets are exciting, that they're going to change uh, the way that the financial system works. And whatever you think about their current valuation, they're not going away. Mm -hmm. All right. Number three, what's your favorite online tool for building your business? Ooh, uh, I have to say WordPress. How can you get away without that? Yep. Number four, how many hours of sleep do you get every night? Do I have to answer that? Yeah, yeah. Six and a half. That's pretty good. And what's your situation? Yeah, yeah. Married, single, you have kids? I have kids. How many? Just one. He's four years old. Oh, wow. Okay, good. And uh, how old are you, Mark? Uh, I am 36. Uh, sorry, not Mark. Thomas. I was just... <laughs> Thomas. Sorry, 36 years old. And uh, last question. Take us back to your 20-year-old self. What do you wish that he knew? 
how to negotiate. How to neg- <laughs> It's funny. So it, the last per- the the last interview I had on, they said their CEO, their founder, starting is Mark Cuban, which showed up right next to your name, which is why I'm going. Uh, I had Mark <laughs> in my head. He's getting involved in crypto as well, but that's good good advice. How to negotiate, guys. There you have it from Thomas. He's launched Volio, which is essentially a social trading platform. Also now jumping into crypto uh, as well, so you can do it with your friends. He's raised five million bucks to really grow this. He just went to market recently, twenty five hundred bucks in total revenue last year. Obviously, that'll grow this year. He makes money by charging a fee each time you trade, which is really a diluted fee if you do it with a group of friends. So nice social dynamics there, Thomas. Thank you for taking us to the top. Thank you, Nathan.